Hey guys, this is Bree, and I really don't know how I'm going to do this video blog because I've never done a video blog before and had it serious, so I really want this to become an every week thing, or maybe twice a week, or bi-weekly. Just let me know how you guys feel about it, and we go from there, but I really wanted to talk about some things that were bothering me lately, and... Uh, I wanted to know if any of you felt this way as well. Um, as some of you may know, I auditioned for American Idol. And it was back in 2010. And it was the worst experience ever. Um, I made a video about it and I ended up deleting it just because it made me so upset to even think about it. And I know um, some of my friends have had success with American Idol and some are continuing to try, but I know that that's not my way in if I want to sing, and I definitely know that I want to sing, and I feel like after that I kind of stopped singing. I used to sing every day, and a lot of you have, who have followed me uh, know that I used to post videos all the time, and now it's um, I'm lip syncing or I'm not singing anything, doing any kind of videos at all. Um, and it was really because I felt defeated. I felt like even though I kind of um, thought it over in my head and uh, was trying to be logical about it and think, well, they only really want to have characters on their show. It is a television show. They are there for entertainment. It's not just that you have a good voice. Um, I know that whenever I was going to auditions for theater, that was something that I had to constantly remind myself of. It wasn't that you didn't have a good voice, you just didn't get the part that they were looking for. So, And of course, everyone wants a part um, in theater, and everyone wants a part um, when you go to uh, American Idol, but um, if that's many people's dream all around the world, and, and even just their dream to get noticed, not just for singing, but just for the publicity, that um, it's kind of unrealistic to think that know one person can do it but there's always that chance and we kind of strive off that chance um, to go for things but um, after that uh, it took me a while to build up the self-confidence to even try singing anymore even just for myself uh, and uh, I even did uh, think that at one point that I wanted to do makeup as well and I still love makeup and I love the idea of being a makeup artist, but I went to apply at MAC and see if they had any freelance positions open, and they were very welcoming, they were very kind, uh, but nothing really followed through on that, and I wanted to give them their space and not be pushy, not be clingy, so I never went back, and I, it really wasn't that I put out a lot of effort, it, I was just kind of but hurt over the idea that I, you know, made out this resume and I had experience doing makeup and theater and um, I had an album full of pictures that I um, practiced and had proof of practice with, that, um, with those pictures, um, but no one asked to see it, no one called me back and they said they would call me back, so um, I just didn't push and push, and I don't push for things that I really, really want. I am the kind of person that I didn't do very well in school, so now that I um, am older, I actually I try a lot harder when it comes to stuff at work and things like that, or um, new projects. I'm all on board. If you know me, you know that I'm all on board. I'm really excited about any project that I take on, but it seems like lately, I've just been taking on projects that I don't really care about because it's easier to fail and not care if the projects that you're working on or the goal that you're striving for uh, doesn't really matter to you um, as opposed to really going for something that you want and then failing. And, um, my boyfriend's been really helpful in the fact that um, he, he wants me to try. He's like, fail, fail, you know, it, it's okay. And, once you get past the failing part, you can, you know, work towards actually becoming productive and on your way towards getting to where you want to be. Um, and my music just 
stopped. I don't even know how uh, it, well it went in the background with me talking, and I've just been kind of rambling on. But let me know. Um, do any of you feel like that? Um, do you take on projects that don't really mean anything to you because you're scared of failing at things that you really care about? <sighs> okay, that was a lot, but I'll shut up now. <laughs> I hope that you guys comment and let me know uh, if you like the video, then I will start doing more video blogs. Hopefully not as depressing, <laughs> but hopefully just as thought-provoking. <laughs>